One thing I think you deserve to know about me is that when I'm feeling a little bit worse for wear, when I'm emotionally downtrodden, there is nothing on this earth that lifts my spirits faster than some relatable, self-loathing Twitter content with a focus on romantic pain and emotional despair. I mean, it just greases my emotional wheels and sets my soul free. Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. My name is Leon Lush, the dawn of the tomato mafia, and I am just thrilled that you would decide to spend a few minutes here with me today enjoying some of life's subtleties. Now, I think it's safe to say that we all are very familiar with relatable content. I mean, it comes in all different forms and different genres on Instagram and Twitter and YouTube. The goal of a lot of content creators is just to create content that is relatable to other people so that when those people see that content, they think, oh my God, that's so me. I'm going to share this with all my friends so they know how me this is. And of course, when you're trying to grow a brand or a channel or an account, Trying to reach the most amount of people in the shortest amount of time possible is probably the best strategy you can take. So relatable content is king because it drives shares. Now this relatable content has become a staple, just a normal part of the day for most of us that spend any time online scrolling through all our feeds. We see it all the time, we're used to it, right? But occasionally, I see one that really just grabs my attention and it makes me dig a little bit deeper. And this happened to me the other day on Twitter. Someone had retweeted this particular tweet from this Twitter account called at cheating. <laughs> the name of the account is cheating, so you already know, you know where this is headed. And uh, there are just some absolute diamonds in the motherfucking rough on this account. And I want to read through a few of these today and see if we can't just lift our spirits with some of this emotional, despair, relatable, romantic fucking bullshit fucking... Yeah. I hate when people say, who hurt you? Like, bitch everybody, why? Oh, <laughs> tell me about it. Oh, the world is so cruel. A girl can go back to you 1,737,384 times, but once she over you, <laughs> ain't no such thing as going back. I promise you, lots of lettuce, 39,000 likes. <laughs> Now, my friend Jamal replied to this tweet by tagging one of his friends at It's Truda, and he said, Oh my gracious, yas, preach, sister, preach, oh my good. And then Truda saw this, and she responds with, Lettuce, mayonnaise, fries, and onions, shut up, skull emoji, laughing until I'm crying emoji. You see, because it's relate, they relate to this. It's relatable. Truda has probably gone back to her guy 1,737,000 times, but let me tell you one thing. When Truda is over that guy, well, he's going to find out what he's been missing. Uh now, one thing I find interesting with this at cheating account is there are 46.7 thousand followers, which is only a few thousand more than I have. We're at similar levels in that sense, but their tweet engagement is off the fucking charts. I mean, I'm talking 20,000, 30, 40,000 likes on most of these tweets, some of them up into the hundred thousands. I mean, we're talking some real, true to life, relatable, shareable shit. Now, this pains Nigel and myself because we have come up with some absolute banger tweets in our Twitter career over the past couple years, and none of them have gotten as many likes as this one. Girls will really get upset and have attitude just because they miss you. 28,000 likes, 13,000 retweets, with 46.7 thousand followers. What the fuck? Realistically, it's possible there's some bot action going on here, but more than likely, I'm just underestimating the power and the reach of relatable content. <laughs> And I couldn't be doing it any more wrong and ask backwards. I am stifling my opportunities for growth by not having a correct strategy when I tweet. I mean, I go as far as actually putting effort into tweets sometimes when all I should be doing is making tweets that are relatable to other sassy guys on the internet with things like this. Guys will really get upset and have attitude, but guess what? Question mark. <laughs> they don't fucking miss you at all. <laughs> oh man, that is some fucking sassy shit and relatable. Other guys, this is this is, this is a fire tweet. Thirty thousand, forty thousand likes at least, at least, at fuck, at least, 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 forty thousand likes at least, at least, at least, at least, at least. Why would you pretend to like a girl just to fuck when there are so many attractive girls out there who actually only want sex? Question mark. You guys aren't doing it for the sex, you're doing it because you're literal psychopaths who like to hurt people for no reason. Uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that's not accurate. 
just not. Relationships last when two people decide to stick together in good times and in bad. No relationship is perfect, but giving up isn't an option. 35,000 motherfucking likes. That's basically just marriage vows. Sticking together through the good times and the bad through sickness and in health. Does that sound familiar? And yeah, obviously relationships don't last unless you don't give up. It's kind of the fucking... These fucking tweets, I swear to God. I wish my butt was as big as my attitude. <laughs> oh, that's so me. I can't wait to retweet this to all of my Twitter friends so they know that I'm self-conscious about my small ass, but I have a Cardi B ass-sized attitude to back it up. So I'm fine. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> Crying over a guy? Nah, pick your head up, princess. Your tiara is falling. Empowering stuff. Once my skin clears up, I lose 10 pounds, shave my legs, learn how to properly do my eyeshadow, get a whole new wardrobe, comb my hair, and become mentally stable. It's over for you hoes. I mean, this is just so me. These are all the things that I want to do. I just lack the discipline to do them. So instead, I'm just going to share this tweet with all my followers so they know that... I'm hilarious, but just a lazy piece of shit. If you're gluten-free, bacteria-free, bag of french fries needs reassurance on how you feel, just give it to them. Damn. We're humans and go through shit. It's nice to feel wanted. That whole entire part. I don't... I don't get... I don't get it. What is that? that it's not relatable at all. That tweet doesn't make any sense. I hate when guys be like, Can you cook? Can you build a house? Ninja. Fuck you! <laughs> I gotta... I gotta be honest here, building a house and scrambling up a couple of eggs, those are just in two different ballparks altogether. You can't, you can, those are uncomparable things. Hardly the same thing. A girl who can't even make herself mac and cheese says something like this. God, thank you, Nate. Finally, someone telling this cheating account what's what. When your ass is 350 from eating all that fast food, guess we'll find out if he can build you a bigger door to walk through. <laughs> Oh, shit! All right, that's about all I can take, but I wanted to end on a feel-good tweet, so here we go. Find a boy who stares at you like you're the prettiest angel he's ever seen in his life. <sighs> yes. I need a boy like that. I need, I need a boy like that. I need... <laughs> all right, listen. I don't want you to get the wrong impression, right? Leon Lush is all about romance and true love and monogamy and dedication and finding that soulmate, right? Love that shit. I just can't stand these fucking people that like wax poetic on the internet and self-loathe about all these fucking love always ends in pain kind of shit. It's just, it's cringy as hell. In fact, gentlemen, little word of advice for you. If you're into this girl online, maybe you're trying to copy yourself an e-girl, right? Take a look through her tweet history. If she is retweeting accounts like this frequently, humongous red flag. On to the next one. Also, ladies, if you're having trouble finding yourself a man that loves you for you, it's maybe because you've really fucked up your expectations for what a relationship is because you spend so much time online retweeting all this relatable bullshit. Now, don't get it twisted. I know there's a lot of assholes, a lot of scumbag men out there. I know there's just as many crazy, skanky assholes out there, and they're just perfect for each other, right? But there's just as many, if not more, reasonable, down-to-earth people like you and I just looking for some companionship. Now, something I've ascertained as my time spent as a clinical psychologist <laughs> is that what you put out you get back, right? So if you spend all your time surrounding yourself, inundating yourself with this relatable, hopeless, romantic guys are awful and all love ends in pain bullshit, oh, that's what you're going to get. Simple as that. Listen, I don't really know why I made a video about this. I just get a kick sometimes out of the psychology behind all of this online bullshit. I don't know why Nigel sometimes shits in the linen closet or why we're alive or YouTube even exists or why Susan Wojcicki has a very difficult last name to pronounce. I don't know anything. But here we are. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Here we are. All right, anyways, do yourself a favor and hop over to twitch.tv forward slash Leon Lush and hit me with that follow so you can watch me play some video games. And after you're done doing that, follow me on every single social media account that I own because it's what the Lord would do. WWJD, he'd follow Leon Lush fucking everywhere. And when you're done doing that, if you could just uh, throw on a starter jacket, suck on a candy cane for about 20 minutes until it corrodes into like a sharp point, and stab yourself in the carotid artery, and as you're bleeding out and gasping for air, hip thrust that motherfucking like button. <laughs> and leave a comment down below. I appreciate all of you, and I'll see you very, 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 very soon. Bye bye. I need some more.
the fucking view.